Hey everybody and welcome to the end channel video blog and today what I want to showcase is how I'm actually organizing my toolbox right now. So I just bought this foam insulation from Lee Valley and it's an awesome little product and what it is is it's layered foam. So that way you're able to move off small layers of the foam instead of huge chunks and what that allows you to do is really to taper into the profile of the tool. So right now I'm just cutting down the rough stock which is a 2x2 two two sheet into the actual profile of my drawer which is about 11 inches wide and 16 inches deep. And I'm always going to be testing it in between cuts just to make sure it's that nice profile to the actual drawer. If not, you go insane with that little half inch gap missing or something like that. Plus, you want to get the most for your tools for volume wise. Uh, if you cut a little bit too small, you're going to be missing some material and that won't allow you to actually accommodate as many tools as you like. So once again, just another test just to make sure I got that right fit. And as you can see, it's working out pretty good. And this is probably the roughest part of the job. And that's when you're trying to figure out how do I line all my tools up? Because once you make the decision, it is permanent, right? There's no taking back. And so one thing I'm doing here is just accommodating for one more handle here. Uh, this is a, my electrical supply drawer. So it basically, I'm not going to add too much more. Maybe a pair of cable shears. But it's just nice to know that there's a little bit of room of expansion. I don't have a lot of room in my tool chest. But once again, I am trying my best to accommodate future expansion. Because one thing is a tool junkie, you know more tools will be coming. Now to actually start cutting this out, it doesn't take a lot. You just have to highlight the tool with a marker of what your actual profile is. And what I'm using here is a white uh, board marker. And I really love it because it comes right off as I'm working it with my fingers. So there's no staining if I didn't maintain inside the lines or if I smeared or any of that little stuff. Or just even went off on a tangent a little bit. Or if worst case, if you had to reorganize it. So it's just really nice to actually be using material that's not exactly permanent in this scenario. So I highly recommend using the whiteboard marker. And other than that, it's just a knife and just some finger work. It does take a little bit of time to actually accommodate. And as far as the pliers go, with the recording of the video, it actually only takes three minutes per tool almost. So it's not as long as you'd think. But if you're going to try something a little bit more ambitious, like a socket set, you're going to be investing a lot of time. But there's a lot of rewards to it. With just that nice, flush organization. You're going to be knowing the tools that are missing because they won't be there and it's the exact profile so you won't be wasting time looking for the tool and uh, what we do in my shop is a system very similar to this and what we all have here is a like a card with our name on it so if you want to use a tool no problems just grab it throw your card in there and it's awesome if you own a shop or you know or you're in a place where there's a lot of community tools because now you don't have to waste time okay where did I put the DeWalt power drill okay it's with Nick I can give him a call on his cell phone there we are so it's a really nice way to organize and it leads to a lot less time spent wasting looking for tools and I really like the fact that it's an efficient system. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.